Slayer. Hey everybody, Crazed here, and today I got some gameplay here for you from a little game you might recognize, you know, a little Halo 2 action, you know, that type of thing. And it's having a good time, uh, playing on Master Chief Collection uh, every now and then. Yes, I, I do play Master Chief Collection, and it's it's functional. <laughs> it's what I can say. Most of the time, it's functional. Uh, it still has hiccups. It would be nice if they updated it again. You know, updated the map roster and game types, etc. You know, it, it needs an update. Um, it still works. It actually does work, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> but on to the subject at hand. And that is uh, the post E3 or the e Xbox One briefing has is come and gone. And as for Halo, we got pretty much absolutely nothing. Um, it's actually yeah, we got nothing <laughs> for for Halo, which to me is really odd because I think back a few years ago, I think it was Frankie or Bonnie Ross. I couldn't tell you which one, but it kind of says like uh, a Halo is going to be at at least two E3s. Um, before it's launched, which means if it was launched in 2018, and I die right there, but if it was launched in 2018, it should have been at this E3, and it wasn't. So that's kind of interesting. Why did they choose that? Either one, it's just really in an undeve undeveloped state where they just don't want to post anything, but even then, most of the time at this E3, it would have been some kind of trailer. Um, it wouldn't have been any gameplay uh, at all. Um, so that's really interesting. That's really interesting that they would choose to do that. Now, what does that kind of mean? Well, I'm hoping, to be perfectly honest, I am actually hoping this is a good thing. Um, that they realize that the next Halo game is just not ready uh, to be revealed. It's just completely not ready um, for whatever reason. And they're going to wait. Does that mean a, like a summer release in 2019 versus a 2018 fall release? I don't know. Uh, obviously, we don't know much of anything about this right now. Um, so what if... Um, I'm, like I said, I'm kind of hoping that they've learned a lesson and Microsoft's learned a lesson is that they need to launch it when it's ready. When it's ready. How simple is that? Did not one Halo game in the last probably six years, perhaps with the exception of Halo Wars 2, has really felt like it was a completed game. Um, let's face it, Halo 4, not completed. It was not ready. Um, it had multiple issues, the uh, guns weren't balanced, the, um, of course, just a whole bunch of other things that just, the, the game wasn't ready. It just wasn't polished up. Um, if they would have waited probably another four or five months, it probably would have been ready. Um, Master Chief Collection, was that ready? No. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't ready. And it's still, it's still uh, not really there, um, but I think they've just moved on. They're just not going to touch it anymore. Um, the Master Chief Collection, not ready. Uh, I don't think it was even really functional until like th at least three, four months after the fact. Even after all the updates and uh, all the glitches and all the... Uh, bug fixes that cause more bugs. I mean, it just wasn't ready. Period. And then, of course, Halo 5. Was that ready? No. Halo 5 also was not ready. We had uh, no Forge. We had, of course, um, just a bunch of other little things. The game types are just not there. They're still not there, which is, a, I still don't understand that. Why aren't more game types there? Um, that makes no sense to me. That should be there. Uh, simple things like Oddball. Why isn't Oddball in matchmaking at all? Why isn't Ricochet? Ricochet was amazing in Halo 4. Loved Ricochet. Um, and it's just not there. And I just don't understand. It still doesn't feel like it's a completed game. 
but it, it launched completely without forge. That didn't come until later. And it's like, why? Why? Why don't they just wait? I mean, to me, that's what I've been saying. I'd rather have the game finished and ready to rock and roll out the door, and then you make little itty bitty changes. You know, it's like, oh yeah, the uh, assault rifle or something is just a hair too powerful. You know, so we're just going to change a little thing here and there. You know, because it just stuff like that really shows up once it once it's launched into a live. But not the case. Not the case. Um, it's been a lot of really big things that have been the issue, and that's a shame. That is really a shame. But that's my, my hope. That's my hope at this point, is that, hey, they realize that it's not in a ready state, and they're probably not going to launch it until later on, probably in 2019. That's a thought. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. I'm saying that's a thought, because it'd be really nice to have a launched game that is absolutely ready out the door. You know, it'd be really nice to have all the game types there, have all the game modes, um, new ones, new fun things to play, um, maps are ready to go. Uh, I mean, seriously, seriously, I think that's what I, needs to happen. But otherwise, there really was not a whole lot of news per se. I think Bonnie Ross had like one tweet. Um, what did she say? Um, basically said that there's going to be land support for the next games. Like, yes, finally. Why isn't? Why wasn't land support included? <laughs> I'm serious. It's just like, to me, it's like obvious decisions. Just completely obvious decisions. Why weren't these decisions made to uh, just make it better right off the get-go? It's like, yeah. Land support would be good if we're going all this super competitive stuff. And why wouldn't we have land support? Seriously. Um, what's like the other thing that was really confirmed for Halo 6? I think it was like, uh, we're going to have split screen. That's going to be a thing. Um, and Halo Wars 2 is going to get a 4K upgrade. Uh, for If you got a 4K TV, of course, and an Xbox One S or an Xbox One X. Which actually, that looks like a really cool system. Um, don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger on that as soon as it launches. I, I really doubt it at this point, especially without a Halo title at the launch. Because um, I just don't know. Just don't know at this point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so overall, E3 have a lot of interesting games uh, that were showcased. Uh, sea of Thieves looks interesting. I was kind of interested in that. Um, a few other ones, Assassin's Creed and, and a couple others, but overall I think E3 this year is kind of disappointing if you're a Halo fan. But I'm going to wrap that up, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Crazed, and I am out of here.